This is the best prize pick strategy to start winning money in 2024. In 2023, I went up over 270 units. If you're a $5 unit better, that's $2,700. If you're a $100 unit better, that's $27,000. We're gonna do it all over again in 2024, here's how. In short, you need to start removing your emotions from sports betting and start following the data in math by comparing sportsbooks lines and odds directly back to apps like prize picks. Because in order to be profitable on apps like prize picks, you need to play plays that have an edge against prize picks, underdog, or whatever app you're playing on. But how you find these plays and how efficiently you can get them in is what's gonna be the difference maker in you being super profitable or not. There's a few different ways to be profitable on prize picks. We have plus EV betting and correlation betting. Plus EV betting, where we compare sports books, lines and odds directly back to apps like prize picks. But we have to be very, very quick to find these lines where there's an edge against prize picks and get them in before they're bumped or removed. And to do that, we need a website like Daily Grind Fantasy that compiles all of the sports book data into one place for you to be able to quickly and efficiently scan the market to find their lines and odds all in one place. We are essentially listening to the sports books and following the data they are putting right in front of our face to make mathematically profitable bets. For those of you that don't know, Price Picks doesn't adjust your payouts for taking an over or an under on the same player prop. Unlike the sports books that actually adjust what you win depending on if you select the over or the under, or if there's a lot of money coming in, they can also adjust those lines. Price Picks has set odds on these slip types. So as you guys can see here, here are the slip types for prize picks and the set odds for those slip types. The most profitable slips over the long term are five and six man flexes that you get at minus 119 odds for each individual leg. For example, look at this. If I take the over or the under on Justin Fields line, it doesn't adjust my payout. Same thing if I did it with Taylor Heineke, it's not going to adjust my payout. So therefore, we can find plays on the sports books that have heavily juiced odds and get them at better odds here on prize picks. In playing those plays with better odds on prize picks as opposed to the sports books, over the long term is how you're gonna be profitable doing this. Let me show you an example and hopefully it makes more sense. Look at this Dayton Wade line for Ole Miss. We're recommending the under of 53 and a half receiving yards, but look at the sports books and why we are recommending this under. You have multiple sports books, three of them that have this line set to 49 and a half and one of them being FanDuel, that is really off compared to the market, but set lower at 41 and a half. So you have four sports books saying this should be lower than what Prize Picks has it set at at 53 and a half. And they are putting minus 125, minus 131, and minus 125 odds on the under of that 49 and a half. So not only are you getting this play at minus 119 in a five or six man flex, but you are getting Four, uh, four yards of value compared to the sports books. Here's another example of what we see very often and we take advantage of it. LeBron James was listed at eight and a half assist on Dabble, which is an app just like prize picks with set payouts, but the sports books also had it at eight and a half. So no discrepancy as far as the line goes, but if we look at the odds, average odds across these major sports books, five different data points has this set to minus 155. So they are saying there's a favorable chance that the over of eight and a half hits. We played this on Dabble at minus 122 odds, which is absolutely insane getting a play at minus 122 compared to minus 155. Over the long term, that's a really profitable play. Basically playing plays that are given a favorable chance to hit via the sports books that have discrepancies with their lines or heavily juiced odds on the sports books, but getting them at the set payout and the better odds on apps like prize picks. So yes, the goal is to play these plays that have heavily juiced odds or discrepancies uh, when comparing back to prize picks on prize picks in a five or six man flex. Because over the long term, getting those at minus 119 when these plays that you're putting in these slips are minus 150, minus 180 on the sports books is how you are going to be profitable. Just think of it like this. If you're buying a car and four dealerships have that same car, let's say a Honda Civic at $25,000, but just down the road, there's this other dealership, dealership five, that has it set at $22,000 for that same exact car. You'd be out of your mind not to go down the street and get it at $22,000 instead of paying $25,000 for it elsewhere. That's exactly what we want to do on prize picks. Think about it. That car dealership that had it set at 22,000 was way off when comparing to the market. So they are getting taken advantage of because they're pricing it wrong. Prize picks has these props 
that are priced way lower at these odds than compared to the sports books in the rest of the market. So if they're all agreeing, those sports books are agreeing, this should be set at this, and prize picks is the outlier, you'd be stupid not to play it on prize picks as opposed to the sports books. Daily Grind Fantasy does all the math in the back end to find the true odds percent to hit for these plays. As you can see, Dayton Wade has a 55.44% chance to hit. Over the long term, that is a huge edge. If you flip a coin and I told you that heads was going to hit 55% of the time and tails was going to hit 45% of the time, but you got to choose which side of the coin you could choose, what are you going to pick? Heads or tails? Obviously heads, because over the long term, you are going to win if you have a 55% chance to hit. Thankfully, the optimizer updates in real time. As sportsbooks adjust their lines and odds, it portrays here on the optimizer. If a prop gets posted on prize picks, it portrays on the optimizer and shows you all in one place at that exact time what these lines and odds are across the market, allowing you to be able to quickly and efficiently get these plays in and beat the bumps or before prize picks removes them because they do it pretty fast but not fast enough because you are able to take advantage of them and get these in very often. Because without a tool like this, it would be impossible to manually know when lines get posted like this or when odds are heavily in your favor on a certain prop. Therefore, you would miss a million of these plays before you could get them in without having a tool like this. So yes, plus EV betting over the long term is a proven, proven method to be profitable on apps like prize picks. Now, you have to also take into consideration you must manage your bankroll. You can't be spending all your money on one slip or anything like that. We recommend never more than 1% of your bankroll on each slip, right, or on each bet. So please manage your bankroll and do this over the long term at volume. Get as many slips as you can with these heavily juiced plays or these plays with an edge and you will be profitable. Now let's talk positive correlation and how it's one of the biggest edges in DFS right now on apps like Prize Picks, Underdog, and other set payout platforms. Positive correlation, where if X happens, Y and Z are also likely to happen. In short, if certain props are played together, they are more likely to hit when played together. Reminder, Prize Picks doesn't change your payout for taking the over or the under. It stays the same, and that's important when it comes to correlation and playing it on Prize Picks. Yes, there is another tool on Daily Grand Fantasy called the Correlation Tool that literally scans the market to find the most positively correlated plays, puts them together in full slips for you to tail. This tool was only added on 818 of this year, 2023. I'm filming this at the very end of the year and it's up 749 units to date. It gives you slips for many different DFS apps and sports. As you guys can see here, the DFS apps and the sports offered college football, NFL, NHL, soccer, NBA, CS2, many, many different sports and DFS apps for you to take advantage of. So let's reveal a slip and see why this is such a huge edge playing it on a DFS app that has set payouts as opposed to a same game parlay on let's say FanDuel or DraftKings. We'll reveal this Los Angeles Rams versus New York Giants slip. As you guys can see here, we have positive correlation. Let's look at the Rams side of things. Matthew Stafford to go over 257 and a half pass yards. If he's going over that number of pass yards, it's likely that maybe Demarcus Robinson and uh, Puka Nakua are going to go over their receiving totals. So Demarcus Robinson to go over receiving yards. And if Nakua is catching over five and a half passes, it's likely helping Matthew Stafford go over his receiving yards. And then on the flip side of things, Tyrod Taylor, if he's going over 197 and a half pass yards, it's likely Wandale Robinson is going over receiving yards and maybe Slayton is going over receptions, helping him get over that total of passing yards. So pretty simple correlation here on this slip, but these slips can get much more complicated, adding in tackles plus assists, field goals, interceptions, etc. This tool literally scans the market and gives you the most profitable slip, whether it includes those or not. So yes, we know it's heavily correlated, but let's look at the payout and why this is going to be a very, very profitable slip over the long term, playing it on prize picks instead of that same game parlay on FanDuel. As you guys can see, a $100 wager going six of six wins you 25X, which is $2,500 on prize picks. If we take those same props and add them in, give or take some yards, some catches, whatever it might be on, on, on FanDuel, and add them in, going six of six on that same slip in the same game parlay on FanDuel only pays you $1,882. So six, $700 difference in playing it on prize picks in a, in a six-man flex as opposed to FanDuel. But now, let's take it one step further. Not only are we getting paid more money uh, for going six of six, 
Let's look at the insurance on prize picks. If you go five of six, you can still profit and win two X your money. If you go five of six on FanDuel, you lose your money. There it goes. Done. If you go four of six on prize picks, point four your money back. So you get a couple bucks back. FanDuel four of six, boom, nothing. Your money's gone. That's actually insane that you're getting a better payout for going six of six plus the insurance. But why does FanDuel dock your payout for, for having this positive correlation? Because FanDuel knows when playing these plays together, they have a higher chance to hit when played together. Therefore, they're going to dock your payout and take away some of that edge playing them together. That is why playing these on prize picks over the long term is insanely profitable. Having a tool like Daily Grind Fantasy that scans the market in real time to find you the most profitable correlated slips makes it super easy to be profitable when correlation betting. And of course, you want to be playing these slips at volume to help fight against negative variants. You're not going to win every slip. There's going to be times when you're losing multiple slips in a row. You just need that one slip to bring you back up to profitability because think about it, a 25X, you can lose 23 times, hit the next one and still be profitable. This is a long-term game. That's why it's important to manage your bankroll, as I mentioned with Plus EV betting as well. If you want to get access to Daily Grind Fantasy, the optimizer and the correlation tool, you guys can go to the link in the description of this video, get access and start being profitable in 2024 on prize picks. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. We post videos like this with education and daily pick videos all the time.